Hi everyone and welcome to part 3 of Let's Build a Penthouse. So before starting this part, I made a few changes to the build as you can see. So first of all, I changed all the windows to the city living blue color and also went back with the overlapping of the city living windows because a few of you said that you thought this looked better. And I also got some comments saying that the build looked a little bit too gray, needed more of a pop of color. So I figured that going with these windows would help with that, which I really think it does. And I also made a slight change to the wallpaper. So instead of just having the plain gray right here, we have this pattern gray stone. I did try adding some other colors and different colored stones and stuff to the outside, but it just didn't look right. It looked too busy whenever I tried other colors. So I'm just going to stick with the gray. At least there's a little bit more texture with this. And I think the build will look a little bit more colorful once I get into landscaping and some outdoor furniture. So I think this is fine. If it still looks a little bit too gray after I've done with after I'm done with the outside of the build, I can always change it, but we'll stick the, with this for now. And I also just added a little bit more detail to the front of the build in these spots just because I thought it looked a little bit too plain. So as I move around the building, I'll probably do stuff like this in a few other spots. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to take care of that stuff for starring this because I spent enough time on the windows and wallpaper in the last part. So I didn't want to take up too much time with that in this one. But in this part, I'm going to start on the whole landscaping and outdoor furniture furniture type stuff. So first, I'm going to put this flooring down here because, yeah, I think that the darker flooring looks a little bit better than the lighter gray that we have here. So I'm just going to go around and replace all of that. And a bunch of you were also saying that I should add in some of the fake grass flooring and some greenery. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to try to keep it a little bit more of a manicure look just because I don't think... A messy lush garden would really look best with this penthouse so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this lower wall and we're just gonna stick it all around here let's get this paint on it and I'll just put some hedges inside of this so we get a little bit of greenery to add some color to this build and I think we just have to get over here and here yeah I think a good thing about keeping it gray is that we can yeah, you know that pretty much any color we use will go with it so we're not gonna be very limited when it comes to the coloring of furniture and stuff like that. I think it'll also, also anything with a bit more color will really pop nicely against it. Uh, but let's use, so we have this hedge or we have this one. Hmm, I think this one works better. It fits in this area a little bit more or a little bit better. Yeah, because the other stuff was overlapping. So we'll just go with this. And I think that looks good. And I guess all around the build, I'll just have this along the edge. Yeah, because I think if I if I filled it in with a bunch of different flowers, it just, it wouldn't really go with this. But I also want to see if maybe I get some kind of tree or something in to add height. I know this isn't a tree, but I was just trying to see how this looked. I mean, we could do this. Like put this at all the edges. Yeah, I mean, that adds some height without really overwhelming and really blocking views or anything like that. But it does bother me that's a slightly different colored green, but I guess that's fine. And maybe there's also some trees that would look good in here. Yeah, I don't do I don't know if there's really a whole lot that'll work. I mean we could have a cypress tree. But I don't know. Or maybe something like this, perhaps. Yeah, I mean uh, I don't know if I want to put it there though, because that's gonna kind of block the views. I don't know, but I do like how it looks. Actually, let's get rid of these. I'm not really Yeah, I'm not really liking how those look in there. And I just want to make sure that's about... Yeah, I think that's about centered. Uh, I guess... Or we could just have two trees down this side. Yeah, because I want to have some kind of tree in there. Yeah, maybe we'll keep this side open since we'll since I'll probably put some stuff facing out here. Yeah, we could just move this a little bit closer to the edge. Alright, we'll go with that for now. Uh, and I also was thinking that this would be the perfect spot to put a hot tub in. So we can just stick one in somewhere. Right, I did not spell hot, spell hot tub right. There we go. Yeah, so I was thinking this little area right here would be a perfect spot to put one in. And also in the first part, Sky Chimes 658 suggested that I use some of the dividers that came with City Living to put in here between these walls to kind of make it like a closed off enclosure that you could still see through. So I want to try that out. So I think that was in miscellaneous. Yeah, let's just sort it by City Living. So there it is. So there's a short one. There's a medium one. Yeah, that's what we want. So I'm just going to stick it on this side because, I mean, you have the hot tub right here anyway. So Sims really wouldn't be able to get through this. So, I mean, they could get through here, but it'll just look better if we cover both of these up. So this side will be blocked off, and then this side they'll still be able to get through. And I don't know if there's really any better colors than this black. 
Yeah, I think that's going to be the best color. Uh, we could also stick it over here. Nah, I don't, I don't know about that. We'll just leave that out. Oh, it might also be a good idea to get a wall under here. Yeah, we'll do that. Ooh, and that reminds me, uh, this staircase should probably also have some railings. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want to walk down this without railings. Uh, where was it? This? No, I don't really want to go with the spot I want. I wanted one that was open like this. But I want to see how the black looks now that we have darker flooring in here. Eh, I guess it looks a little bit better. It's not an exact match, but it works. Maybe this one has a better color. Because I want something that's not... Oh, I like that. Yeah, because I want something a little bit darker than the gray we had before, but lighter than this. Like something that kind of matches this flooring a little bit more, but I don't think we're going to be able to find that. Uh, still, I like this staircase more, so we'll go with that. And let's also get some railings on it. I think I'm going to go with... Uh, do we have a black border for this? Hmm. Or what if instead of going with black, we tried out white for the railing so that it goes a little bit better with the border on the windows? Hmm, maybe. Yeah, I'm just... I wish there was... I could get this as the railing for the staircase because it just... I don't know, it just doesn't really look... doesn't really go with it completely. Uh, well, I guess that... Hmm, that looks pretty good. You can hardly see it. I'm just... Uh, this is just bugging me, like, how this fencing looks. I mean, I could just not have fencing around the staircase... Around the, sw uh, the swimming pool, or maybe just not on the front side of it. I don't know. I mean, this is The Sims, so it's not like they're gonna fall down it and die. Yeah, we I mean, don't have to worry about that. Uh, but... Ah, no! I keep forgetting that does that. So is that the same? I think that's the same height as this. I just want to see how it looks if we replace this with just that instead. Because I don't... It's just bugging me how different that looks. So, okay. So what if we had this around the sides of it? And then in the front we put a clear fence. So what would be a good one? Let's try the get-together fence. Oh, there we go. Now it's actually working. Oh, that's a possibility. Um, we also have this, which was there before. So maybe a gray color or the white. Or we do have the option of the city living one. Which, that doesn't really look that bad either. I think I'm going to stick with that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's just, I, don't, I just didn't like how you had this kind of clear railing here and then you had a different kind up there, like right next to it. And I don't know. We'll, we'll stick with that for now. Um, I could possibly change that next time, but I'm going to move on from that. And focusing on focus on finishing up this area. So let's go down to the first level, take care of the stuff underneath here. So right here, I think we could have another little planter area. So I'm just going to get that lower wall in here. There we go. And we'll just use this. Yeah, and I'll just stick a couple, couple plants in here. Uh, where was there? It is. Ooh, whoops! I forgot to get the inside of, of those walls. I can't. Okay, there we go. Yeah, let's fix this. Forgot about that. All right, now that's good. Liking how this is coming along. Uh, I don't think I really need to put a whole lot right in this area. Yeah, I mean this isn't really a lot of space to stick anything in, anyway. Oh, we should probably get the flooring too. Yeah, and then let's figure out some kind of... Well, I could stick maybe this in? No, okay, no, that doesn't fit. Uh, there's a few of these planar... Ooh, that works. Yeah, so we'll just stick this in here. And maybe a flower or a rock or something like that. Uh, let's try sticking some kind of flower. I don't know, we'll just make it look symmetrical just because this place is a little bit more perfect and manicured looking, I guess. On second thought, instead of having that same wallpaper there, let's go with this to make it stand apart a little bit. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right. Ooh, ooh let's also get these under the stairs because they're not really going to need to pass through here anyway. All right. Probably also be good to get some lighting under here. So let's figure out some kind of modern outdoor wall lighting that we can put right here. Uh, no, probably not that. I always have so much trouble picking out wall lighting for the outside. 
I don't know. We have this thing. I don't know. That's a little bit bulky, though. Oh, that might look kind of cold, but that's not really very outdoorsy. And we have this. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling that. Uh, maybe also some kind of ceiling light for out here. Actually, it might be best just to go with the saucer light. Yeah, we'll keep it simple and stick with that. And I'm not really sure what else to stick out here. I mean, maybe we could stick some kind of potted plant right in this corner right here. I don't know, just to fill that in, maybe... This one, I'm a pretty huge fan of this plant. One of my favorite ones in the game. Um, actually, no, I think... I think the white's good. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I could stick a table out here, but... I think it'd be better to have an outdoor dining table up here. In this area, since that's kind of near where the kitchen's gonna be. And then, um, I'll just move to what I want to do out here. So right in this spot, I wanted to have... Like, an outdoor seating area. So we just kind of stick it right here in this corner. Uh, that's not really... Hmm. That look kind of cool in there. It's not really very outdoorsy, though. Hmm. That actually doesn't look too bad on the outside of the house, though. And then we do have the... This might be... Okay, this might be better because it's actually meant for the outdoors. Although that didn't look too bad. I'll probably use that couch somewhere in this house. Um, so I think just a simple... I mean, I know I should probably add more color to this place, but I also like the idea of having a more uh, monochromic or, like, more black and white color scheme on the outside. I don't know. I feel like that suits this place better. Yeah, so we'll stick with this. I can add some color with decorations and stuff like that. Alright, so we got that. Let's also get some kind of end table thingy to go in here. I forget if one came with perfect patio stuff. But I mean, we do have this one, so we'll go with that. I like it. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Uh, oh, also, Nolan said that I should use that fire pit coffee table that came with City Living outside, outside so we'll, we'll do that. Uh, maybe... No, that doesn't look... Hmm. What if we... Okay, so this one... No, wait, no, not... Yeah, this one? No, never mind. That's, that's not it. Because uh, I think... Wasn't there one like this that was plain? No, maybe not. Maybe I was just imagining things. Okay, no, there's no such thing as this one without it, without the uh, fire pit part of it. Because I was thinking it could be cool to make this look a little bit bigger. Uh, but we could always stick two of them side by side to make it... Ooh, okay, that kind of works. Yeah, that makes it... That'll make it look a little bit bigger. Okay, but I just want to make sure we're more centered along here. I don't know, I guess where it was was fine. Uh, we'll just scoot... Okay, we'll just scoot this down this way, scoot this out a little bit more, bring this in a little bit. Just because I don't really like how much distance there is between that couch and the end table, or coffee table, or whatever it is. But yeah, I like this. It's kind of like a modern fire pit. And it's probably kind of silly to overlap them like that, but I just wanted to give it the look that it was a little bit bigger than it was. I mean, we could always go with a different color for this thing to add that pop. I don't know about that, though. Uh, I think I might just go with this. Yeah, we'll stick with that. And then what can go here? I guess some kind of lantern light would probably be good. Oh, there was the one that came with City. I think there was one that came with City Living that had greenery on it. Right? I think there was. Maybe that was in the ground light category or outdoor light category or something like that. I swear I... Oh, wait, no, no, that's a whole... Oh, no, no, that's a tree. Never mind. I could have sworn I saw something like that. Oh, here it is. Uh, okay, never mind. That doesn't really snap to the table, but we can make it fit. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, ooh, I like that. Alright, so we got that there. Uh, let's... Uh, let's go with the blue. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll add a little bit more... Some color other than... Grays in here. Uh, what else? I also was thinking it could be cool to take those... It was like those outdoor lantern lights, like the ones you see. Yes, these. Because I think they would fit in... Ooh, they fit in perfectly right in here. Okay, so this could be kind of cool to take this and stick it over the hot tub area. I mean, I mean I'm not sure if that's something that really fits in with this build. So it's supposed to be more modern and clean. But uh, I thought... It, oh, whoops. Okay, let's get that a little bit further back. It's kind of going through the tree, but that's fine. That's okay. 
Uh, yeah, so that's something that... That's a cool decorative touch. But let me see if there's one that... Uh, let's go with that. Yeah. yeah I'm kind of digging that. I like it. It adds a nice, a neat little decorative touch. And I think that would look really pretty at night if you were in the hot tub. And I... I don't really think I need to have anything else over here. I mean, I feel like I should have something right in this area underneath it, but... Then again, I don't... I mean, I guess we could stick, so we could take... I think... Oh, wow, what is that? Like, two, three tiles? I think it might be only be two. Oh, no, that's three. Well, we can cram one of these in here. I don't know. Maybe uh, just stick a regular coffee table in front of it rather than this fire pity thing. Or the... I, I don't know. Actually, let's just... Let's just stick another one in here, just in case... I don't know, someone wants to sit in a more secluded spot in front of one. Or nah, maybe we should do something different. Yeah. yeah let's, ooh, let's use this. Yes, that works. Okay. Uh, and then we could get some kinds of decorations on here. Uh, not lighting. Decorations, that's what I want. Uh, so we can just stick this. Yeah, let's go with... Um, let's go with orange. Yeah, we'll get another color in there. Alright, I think that's about good for over there. I guess I could stick a chair, the matching chair to this right under here in this corner. Yeah, we'll just do that and then have that be it. Alright, I think that's good for over on this side. I like how it's coming along. Okay, so for this side, uh, since this is going to be off the gym, I was thinking this could be kind of a continuation of the gym and maybe it could be... Like a spa area, like I could. Ooh, like it might be cool to have massage tables out here. Yeah, yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. So we have some much ugh, massage tables, some um, yoga mats, that sort of thing. And I just realized there's no window going out or no door going out here, which is kind of a problem. So there we go. Now that's taken care of. So Sims can get out here. So we're all good. And I'm just gonna do the same thing I did on the other side and have just those hedges along the edge of it, just because I really like the look of that. And I think it look really cool to have some massage tables out here. So let's just get those and let's figure out where those will go. Uh, so where was that? Massage table. There it is. And I was thinking that right here would be a good spot. So we can just have a couple of these. Have this be a very relaxing area. So maybe put some bamboo out here. Uh, maybe... I kind of like the look of the mint green. Yeah, so. Uh, let's see how that looks when you go out here. Or maybe we go with that. Actually, I like the look of the original color of it. Yeah, we'll keep that. And we could also have some of those bamboo plants right in this corner. Oh, there was that really big vase that came with Spade that works really well if you take the bamboo and then you raise it up inside of it. Okay, so let's have that be in the mint green. And move that out a little bit so the walls aren't going through it. And then we could take those bamboo plants and then raise them up so it looks like they're inside of it. So I think till about there is good. Then we'll get... Okay, no, let's move that in a little bit. And then we can get another one of these. Oh, and in case you don't know what I'm doing to raise these up, um, I have the move objects cheat on, which I'll need to show you really quick is BB dot move objects. So you put that in and then it allows you to place objects wherever. And then if you tap 9, you can also raise up objects. And if you tap 0, you can lower them again. Uh, if you have set, use 9 to set a camera angle, then you're not gonna, it'll just, the camera will just fly off somewhere else if you hit 9. So if you have used 9 as a camera angle, then you just hold down shift while you do that. And it'll be fine, let me make sure if we, yeah, so it's still, it'll still do it if you hold down shift and raise it up. So let's just get that in there. I think that's, uh, let's move this in a little bit more. And we can just leave those the same color, it's fine. Alright, so we've got a, got the start to a relaxing spa area. Might also look nice if we stick another thing of bamboo right here and uh this area right here i think would be really good for the yoga mats so we're actually no i'm just gonna search for those there we go yeah so we'll have this we'll have one yeah we'll have one here and then another one here actually let's yeah let's do that all right so we have some Yoga mats in this corner. Uh, we could also add some, add an incense item on the floor. Actually, I'm going to change the color of these. Alright, so we have one like that. Uh, actually, alright, so let's, let's have, uh, okay, so let's do that for one of them. And 
I guess actually no. Let's okay. Let's just do that. Okay, that looks good. Yeah. I uh, didn't really want them to match, and then I'm gonna also put in the incense, so we can just I guess stick that on the ground. I think that looks good. Uh, there's also... Actually, no. Okay, never mind. That looks that actually looks kind of weird. Nah, I think that's fine. We don't... I think it's fine just having the two mats right there. I don't think we really need to stick anything else there. I was also thinking it might look good if I take those divider items I used over here and then stuck them... Ooh, maybe... Yeah, because yeah, no one's going to go through here anyway. So let's just stick these all underneath this deck or this you know underneath this side of it yeah i like that it looks pretty cool and uh, we can also let's see uh how would it look if we well, no that's where the door is i don't want to stick a wall right in front of there okay so okay this probably isn't a good idea because it's going to kind of block the door okay no never mind let's not do that yeah we'll just leave that all open i think that's fine Oh, we could also take the massage. There is the massaging chair. So we could take that and then... Where was that? Um, but we could put that right in here. Actually, I'm just going to search for massage again because I don't remember where that was. Uh, massage and living chairs. There it is. Yep. Okay, so we'll stick a couple of these right here. So this is like a whole little outdoor peaceful massage area. And then I can stick a table in between it and then put that massage oil item on top of that. But I'm not really liking... Okay, I'll go with this. Matches the other one. I like how that looks. Uh, let's also get that table to put the stuff on. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the, the spotty one right here. I mean, I guess we could to keep the theme, but... Oh, ooh, how would... Hmm. What if we took this? So it's like a little cart that they bring out. I don't know. Whoever's doing those massages brings out with them when they do that. I don't know. Might be a little bit, eh. I don't know about that. This one could also, might also look neat. Although, why, why did I just stick that in there? Although the, eh, that looks a little bit, it looks a little bit harsh. Uh, maybe I'll just go with the spotty one. Yeah, we can just figure out something for this one that works. Uh, maybe we'll just make that black or perhaps white. Okay, now I don't know about the white. We'll, we'll use that. All right, let's pull these in a little bit closer. And I'm gonna go and find that one massage oil item, wherever that was. There it is. Perfect. Was it, were those supposed to be massage oils? I think they were. Yeah, yeah, okay, perfect. And we'll just do that. And then I'm gonna stick another one of these bamboo thingies on the other side of this. So I'll just have that over there next to the door. I feel like I should probably have something on the wall right here, but I don't know. Uh, let's at least get, have this lighting over here somewhere so we can, so this area will be lit. Uh, where? Hmm. Oh, that bothers me. It's not centered with that. Well, you know what? Uh, let's just go with overhead lighting for this spot. Yeah, we'll just stick a couple of these things in over here. Yeah, so we have one out there in front of that. We'll have one center between these two things, and that should be enough lighting. And I don't think I... Uh, no, I don't think we really need something on the wall right here. And then, just to make it symmetrical, I'll stick another one of these right here. So yeah, we got a nice little zen area. Oh, let's also get a meditation stool in somewhere. Yeah, I mean, we gotta have that if we have everything else out here. Uh, I like... I like this one. So we can just have it... Ooh. Ooh, ah, that would be a really good use of the space. Yeah, let's, okay, so let's have a couple of these in here. So it's just like this really nice meditation area that's just off to the side from everything else. I feel like that'd be so peaceful. And then we can also get some candles in here. Yeah, I think there's some other candle items than the spotty ones that would work really well. Oh, like these? Well, they're, okay, oh, those are candles. Oh, I like that. Yeah, a little bit of a city living item tie-in. Okay, so what works? So I want to find something that kind of goes with the colors on these. And we have that. That doesn't really... I think I'm going to go with that. We'll just go with more of a grayscale thing. But, oh, that works so well. Because I had no clue what I was even going to do with this space. But I just like that it's just off to the side and very private. 
And uh, we'll go with that to kind of tie in with the rest of it. And I guess then let's go with that. I think that's good for over here. So let's get a look at how this place is coming along when you go out to here. Oh, it's starting to really come together. Okay, so I'm not sure what to do. Not quite sure what to do over in this area yet. I mean, I was thinking we could kind of, we could have another swimming pool that maybe comes out like this around here. Then that would separate these two sides because I want to do the same thing where I had this going all the way around it. So I guess we can at least do that over on these sides. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that done. All right, now that that's in, um, I'm just going to start working on this area a little bit because, like I said, I'm not really completely sure what to do with that. So I'll just work on the stuff up here and then I'll come back to that. Or maybe I'll just start with that the next part. But yeah, I don't really want to mess with that this time. So I was thinking right here would be a good spot for an outdoor table because, I mean, this... I mean, I guess right here could kind of work, but I think this would work because it's going to be a little bit closer to wherever the kitchen is. So let's see what we could fit out here. So I guess there's probably some kind of more modern outdoor dining table. And we got this, but that's not really quite as modern as I want to have. Uh, this is always a good option. So where was the three tile? Okay, there's the three tile wide version of that one. Uh, let's go with black. Uh, also, so now that I'm looking at the staircase again... Not really feeling the white now that we've gotten a bunch of new stuff in, so let's try going back to gray. So we got that gray. I got that one. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, I think that works a little bit better. Okay, let's also get some chairs in here. These ones might work well. Although, uh, this isn't really... Hmm. I think this... I think... Okay, let's move it over this way a little bit, but I think the Sims will still be able to get around it. Yeah, they're pretty good at maneuvering around stuff like this, so I think we'll be fine. Um, but perhaps let's go with this. Alright, that looks good. And yeah, we'll go with... Hmm, which looks better, the black herb? Yeah, let's go with this so it pops out a, out a little bit from it. And we need some kind of centerpiece for here. Oh, where is that one modern plant that came with? Yes, this one. Oh, I like this plant. Let's go with this one. And I also wanted to fit some kind of rug underneath that this as well. Uh, how do I look? Uh, would this be... Okay, maybe the fur rug isn't the best idea. Okay, never mind that. Uh, we do have this one. If we size, okay, never mind. Not if we size that up. That does not work well. So I, we need something bigger than this. Uh, so we've got this one, but that doesn't really fit in. Oh, this one. Wait, wait, wait. How? Okay, that. Never mind. That's too big. Uh, nope, that's too big. I feel like Goldilocks right now. I can't find anything that's just right. Yeah, because I want something that goes over this one. Uh, this one, I think if we size it up, it might work. Okay, no. Never mind, I don't know. That's that's kind of the best thing, because at least it goes evenly under each of the tables. I'll just stick with this one. I don't know, it's not perfect, but it works. There's probably also some kind of outdoorsy plant that we could stick on this door. There is this one, although uh, the color of it's not quite as bright as I'd hoped it would be. I don't know, it might work, though. Yeah, I think we can stick with that for now. I also wanted to get some more of the lighting that I used down here. Up around. Yeah, so we Oh, wait, no. Ah! Okay, no. Meant to grab the lights, not the paint. There we go. Now we got it. Okay, so let's just have that uh, right here and here, maybe. Okay, now I guess we don't need that there. Uh, let's also have that here. Okay, so that should help a good bit. And then underneath this area, I'm just going to have a regular old ceiling light. So we'll just use this saucer light again. Uh, and also, speaking of lights, I'm sorry I didn't put lights on the insides when I was doing the whole floor plan. Because, uh, yeah, it was kind of hard to see. So I'm really sorry about that. I should have known to, to do that. So, whoops. There's not really much space in here, though, to fit something. So I don't think I'm going to bother with that. Yeah, we'll just leave that empty. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into the guest bedroom. And then this can be a bedroom for a teenager. Yeah, I think that would be good to do once I get into the interior. Which I'm really excited about because the interior is... Always my favorite part of the build. Like, I just, I cannot wait to get to the interior of this build. Um, but let's go ahead and get, okay, so for this, rather than doing what I did downstairs with, with having the two of them, then having 
a table between them. I'm just gonna go ahead and make this look like it's just a corner sofa. I think that looks a little bit better in the space, so let's just get it so we can't really... Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, and then we can make this another little fire pit area and stick one of these in here. There we go. Nice and relaxing. That'll be fun. Then perhaps some kind of cool outdoorsy plant. Oh, there was a larger one. Where was it? There was a larger one that came with something. This one. Yeah, movie hangout stuff. Uh, so this one in a more neutral color might look kind of cool. Yeah, okay, so I think, ugh, I think that's hopefully not going through any walls. I don't know, I'll mess with it if it's like that once I, if it's going through the wall when I get to the inside. Okay, I think that's pretty close. Yeah, I think there's some more neutral colors for it. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, that's pretty neutral. And lastly, I'm just gonna get a ladder going into this pool and then I think I'm gonna have that big goal that I do in this part. So next time I'll work on the area on the other side over here and I'll try to get the other decks on this level finished at least. Uh, and I'm not completely sure what to do with this area still. So if you all have any ideas, I'd love to hear that. Cause I mean, I could put another swimming pool but then I don't really know if we need another swimming pool. So if any of you have any other ideas that could take up more space, I'd love to hear that. Uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna have this be all. I think we made pretty good progress in this part. Uh, pretty happy with that, with how these areas are turning out. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and bye.